Hello developers. Today we are going to build movie recommendation system with Pandas. By the end of this video, you will have a working recommendation system that you can customize and use in your own projects. Have you ever questioned how Netflix makes recommendations based on the movies that you have already seen? Or how can choices like frequently brought together appear on e-commerce website? Although they might appear like straightforward choices, but a sophisticated statistical method is used to forecast these suggestions. Based on the similarity between the items or the similarity between the users who previously evaluated those entities, a recommender system uses a statistical algorithm to forecast user's rating for a specific entity. The assumption is that users of like category will rate a group of items similarly. You will also build a similar solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more ready to deploy candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is movie recommendation system one click install kit. Now this kit is open source with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you are excited to build your own movie recommendation system. To build a simple AI based movie recommendation system, you need the following. First, you need to have an understanding of Python programming language, an IDE like Jupyter or PyCharm to write your Python code. Third, you will need to have the essential libraries like Pandas and NumPy imported. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions here to set the kit up. Now you can pause this video and complete the installation. Once ready, hit resume and we'll jump right into building a movie recommendation system. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up, you will see this Jupyter Notebook. Let's have a closer look at the notebook. First, we will import all the necessary libraries like the NumPy and Pandas. Since we are doing a simple movie recommendation using Pandas, we will first look forward what is the data set that we want to use here. So we have imported four data sets and stored them in a folder called data. So you can reference from there. Links.csv is a comma separated data set. Then you have fetched these movies.csv, which is another data set. This has columns uh, with the same movie ID, which we found in the links data set. And then these are the titles, which are also a combination of the year and the different genres, which are separated by pipe here for that particular movie. After that, we see that we have a ratings data set, which we will use to check the ratings for particular movie and then we also see that the tags data set is there also there so what concept we are using is we want to assume that if a certain user likes a set of movies then there is also another person who likes one or movies which are part of the same set of movies which user a likes a and b has a movie that they both like. Therefore, other movies from both A and B, you know, other movies which are part of the list of movies which A like or part of the movies which B like, you know, can have a probability of each other also liking the movies which they like individually, right? So we are trying to use this concept here and that what we have done, we have done a merge of your ratings and the movies data set. So then we have this data frame where we have columns as movie ID will be the column on which we will do the merge. And then we will have title, genres, user ID, ratings and timestamp as the different feature columns. Then what we are trying to do, we have just picked up a, a title, stored it and then created a list of uh, recommended movies. For a movie, we want to sort it by the rating. So multiple users have rated that same movie, right? So we want to then find who are those users 
who have rated you know or like this movie maximum or i would say highly rated that movie so for user in movie uh, underscore uh, your data frame we want to locate the top 5 users for the first 5 users who have highly rated a particular movie right and then what we are doing after uh, finding that 5 users for that particular we want to find all the movies all the movies for a particular user right and then we are storing those all rated movies by that user in the rated underscore movies then what we also want to do so for a particular user we are now trying to sort the list or sort the uh, data set in a way that we get the highly rated or the biggest rated movies by a particular user and then what we are going to do we will add these rated movies we will add these rated movies to this recommended uh, movies list and then we will try to use numpy and then just try to get the unique movies out of these and those unique movies are simply we are printing these unique movies here so now what we are doing we want to calculate the similarity on the genre feature so for that first we need to split our different genres based on who are which are represented in a column with this five so we will split it and then here again we are saying that for toy story uh, i want to check what are the different genres that are available so for toy story you have uh, adventure animation children comedy fantasy so it it falls around into multiple genres right so we are first uh, splitting it so for a movie which is in recommended movies what we want to do we first want to check this particular movie uh, by splitting it itself and then assigning initially the score of 0 initially we are not giving any score because we want to assign this similarity score for a particular movie how similar it is to uh, you know the movie that we have defined here which is uh, under the t underscore variable then we want to see how many movies can be found in the movie genres uh, genres can be found in the movie genres movie genres had all the genres that we had splitted and stored here so we were basically splitting it and storing it here based on the recommended movies we already have our recommended movies from top and then we just split it their genres as well and then we are now giving an a score to all those what we are doing we are putting a score on the different movies which can be found in these movie genres which are part of the recommended movies after that you are simply then uh, assigning the score from here Uh, to that particular set of movies which have been found on the recommended movies and based on this score now you will reverse or basically uh, in the descending order you are expecting to get all the recommended movies those are the same recommended movies but now these movies are weighted or i would say the closer a particular movie is say uh, american tale based on the genre is most more genres of this american tale are aligning with toy story so this is come top on the list then willy and wonky and the chocolate factory then princess bride then iron giant and then you know 101 uh, 101 dalmatians has fallen like this so basically this is how your uh, recommendations are uh, shown for similarity based on two or multiple users uh, finding or rating a certain movie highly and then we have also tried to put or give a certain score and then based on that score in the decreasing order of recommendations we are recommending you movies here so this is a interesting use case which is a very simple one also when you can apply deep learning to this you can apply so much more uh, in terms of uh, ai to this so this one is a simpler use case based on your pandas itself so to customize it basically you can take it further by applying deep learning by applying uh, you know any other techniques in fact uh, weighted average is one then correlation is another then there are multiple techniques that you can use for movie recommendations so maybe in the long run we can discuss it uh, further how you can customize this uh, movie recommend recommender system using pandas where you also apply machine learning to it so hope this helps and uh, anyone who is starting their journey can benefit from this thank you Congratulations you have your working movie recommender now
Hope you found this session useful. You can find the link to the movie recommendation system kit and many more ready to deploy kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain and many more. Try out Candy kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the OpenViewer community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye bye.